start with Austin in Florida this hour. Hey, Austin, welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. How can Chris and I help? Dave and Chris, thank you guys for taking my call today. Sure. My question my question is, um, me and my wife, were in baby step two, and we have $50,000 in um, debt. Also, we have about five credit cards in collections. Um, one of those was Bank of America, which they actually sued us about two months ago mm-hmm. for the full amount. Mm-hmm. And when they came to us, we tried to nego- negotiate, but they, it was actually their lawyers. We tried to negotiate, but they said it's too late. Um, you know, we're, we're asking for the full amount. They even summed us. The uh, sheriff came to our house, mm-hmm. gave us the papers. Um, We have four other credit cards in collections, and my question is, should we tackle them so that we can negotiate or continue on our regular baby step two debts that are are good? How much do you owe B of A? Um, $3,400. And what's your household income? $100,000. Okay. All right. And what is the rest of the debt? You got four credit cards, and what else on sixty k? We have uh, student loans that are How approximately much? thirty thousand. Okay. Thirty thousand. We have a car loan for twelve thousand, and um, we jack- We actually just settled with um, the timeshare exit team. We got out of our timeshare. Good. But we're we're having to pay them approximately. I think we have ten thousand dollars left, so we got a payment plan with them to complete that process. Okay, good, but you got an end to that mess. So, uh, yes. yeah, they're, they're bad news. Okay, um, so the sheriff came and served you with a court order or gave you a date, right? Yes, which actually has been extended because of COVID. So right, so when is, the, when is the date? The new date, I believe, is uh, June 15th. Um, but we, thankfully we, we got our stimulus check, which is exactly what we needed for it. So we put that in savings. Uh Um, I've tried to contact the lawyer to pay them, but they're unavailable just due to the virus. Don't pay them. Don't pay them. At all? Nope. (laughs) Nope. I would show up down there at, at, on June 15th and meet with the attorney and they will settle it on the spot with you. And you'll get it for fifty cents on the dollar, twenty cents on the dollar. Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You're, you're broke. You don't have any money, um, and you know you don't have the money to pay this in full. That's why you were offering them a settlement. For God's sakes, that's why it's in collection to start with. And um, he, here's what happens: you're, you're dealing when you're dealing with Bank of America to start with. You're dealing with Satan. But um, did I say that out loud? But anyway, the um, but the uh, you know when you go when you're dealing with their attorneys in collections, you are a widget in a factory that churns out five thousand widgets a minute all day long. So there's absolutely no you got no attention at all when you tried to work with them before. You were probably dealing with a twenty six year old paralegal at best. Okay. And when you what when you trot down there, what you're going to find is the attorney has a two wheeler with boxes of cases that are going before the judge all at once that day. They're rolling the widgets off the end of the assembly line, and you're one of them. When you actually show up in person, it is so completely shocking to them <laughs> that they cannot emotionally deal with it. And then just stand up before the judge and tell the judge, I offered them a settlement if they won't settle. But he'll settle before. You just find the little character, and he'll be running around. He'll be highly unimpressive because he can't get a good job, right? And, uh, you know, his little, his little mustache will be going up and down with cookie crumbs in it or something, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to be so underwhelmed. You ever been to traffic court? Oh, yeah. Like for a speeding ticket? You remember when you went and you mm-hmm. thought it was a big deal, and then when you got down there, it's almost like something on a Saturday Night Live skit? You remember that? That's what the emotional part with me, too, is, you know, yeah. going to court for something. Well, that's my point. You When you went to traffic court, though, you were all jacked up about it, but when you got down there, it was almost funny, wasn't it? The way it all went down. It was pretty cute. Do what? 
it was quick too. It was very yeah. quick, and it was just like it was automatic. And the judge goes, "Oh, you want to go to school, or you want to pay the ticket? If you go to school, it comes off your insurance. And you go school, your honor." Everybody says, school, your honor, right? And you run through the school. You know how it works. And so this is about the same thing. This is a traffic ticket world. And they're just and, – and nobody comes. You'll probably be the only one there. Yeah. Austin, they see you as an account number and a dollar amount. Um, and so for you to go down there and to be firm and to be clear, what it is is now you're putting a name to your to your account number but just you know Um, give them payment that you have proof of payment has been made if you cut a deal and then he has to give it to you in writing that it is settled or an agreed order will be fine before the judge give enter an agreed order that they agree to accept a thousand dollars for this 3400 and you can take cash if you want i don't care but he needs to give you a receipt so for the other four you, Same you thing. Just continue. Angle. Just continue to work them over the phone like you work these guys. I'm surprised you weren't, weren't as unsuccessful over the phone as you were, but you're dealing with Bank of America. And well, they're and just they, a complete for pain such in the a d- small dollar no. amount. I can't like, believe they're that, being hard by. Seriously, it's, it's so standard in the credit industry when something gets all the way to court like this that something under ten thousand dollars is settled for about fifteen to twenty cents on the dollar. Yeah, it's done every day. Well, and, and I want like everyone automatic. out there to know: sometimes if that debt gets shifted to a collection company, that may not be a bad thing. Yeah, because you get an opportunity now to deal with some people that may talk with you and work with you. Yeah. Just make sure that they're documenting your account, that you write down the name and number of who it is you're speaking with. They may tell you their name is Bob. That's not their name because they're going to have 17 different. I had accents. one used to call me it was Mrs. Savage, and another one was Baskerville, like the hounds of. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's that's being. Creative. They make up, they make up pseudonyms. Yeah, to be into Savage. She's Savage. <laughs> The bounds of Baskerville are after you, Dave. <laughs> and once I caught on to how the stupid business works, it got to be humorous. You because they can't play with your emotions anymore. Well, yeah, because I was scared out of my brain. I right. didn't know. I thought I thought I was some kind of deadbeat, and I wasn't. I was just a guy who screwed up. So clean it up, dude. You can go down there if you want. If you want to just write him a check, you can write him a check. But I, I think it's in a little bit of an adventure. I think it's probably worth a couple grand of a couple grand to you if you go down there and sit down and meet the guy with the cookie crumbs and his mustache. I promise you, you're going to find a highly unimpressive individual because they could not get a job doing something else. So they're doing small $3,400 credit card suits for Bank of America. Good Lord, that's the bottom of the barrel.